So this is a patient who presents with a cervical radiculopathy. He also has axial symptoms as well. His, um, his CAT scan shows C5, 6, C6, 7, facet arthropathy, as well as foraminal stenosis. And he presents with some numbness and pain down his left arm. The pain passes from his neck through his shoulder. He's had a paravertebral nerve block by his pain physician, which has not given him relief. And he's here today for treatment. To avoid epidural steroid injection and the risk of that, we're performing ultrasound guided interventions along the paravertebral space, the nerves as they exit the spine. I'm using a mixture of lidocaine and dexamethasone for those blocks. So first I'm gonna scan his neck. I'm finding the supraclavicular brachial plexus, which I trace up the spine to the extraforaminal space. And we're tracing the nerves as they go back into the frame and the nerves are hypoechoic and they're disappearing. That right there is a posterior tubercle. And here is the articular pillar of the spine. Moving forward, I'm going to put the Doppler on to see if there's any blood vessels. Okay, so there's no blood vessels in our way here. The hypochoic circles are nerves. And there's a blood vessel right next to one of the nerves, which we'll try to avoid. Here are the nerves once again. C5-6 is uh, stenotic and he has impingement of C6 as well as C7 which is centered right here. And I'm going to deposit a little bit of local anesthetic with dexamethasone in the vicinity, a little pinch, okay? Sorry, anything shoot down your arm, just let me know, okay? Just let me know what you feel. Okay, here's my needle coming near the C6 nerve. Anything shoot down your arm? You're just feeling in the neck? No, it was going down my back. Back down your back, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm taking this needle back. We're gonna look at the articular pillars now and target the paravertebral space where the medial branch nerves pass. Does your pain come from below this point or at this point? At that point. Okay. And the patient is um, has a crease in his neck at that point, which is typically where the most movement occurs. And that's where he's complaining of pain. A little pinch right here. Sorry. It's okay. Okay, depositing the local on the articular pillar. And go one level down. And pinch again. I'm also depositing some of the trigger points in his neck. Superficial. Sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna do two more things and then we're done, okay? Okay. okay. Well, first I'll do the accessory. What we see here is sternocleidomastoid, the big muscle here, and going posterior to it, We'll see the region of the superficial cervical plexus at the tail of the muscle. I'm going to deposit a little bit of local there for his neck pain, pinch. And come posterior, looking for the plane of the accessory nerve, which is between the sternocleidomastoid and the trapezius muscle. The nerve heads towards the trapezius after it leaves the jugular foramen. Little pinch. Okay, I think we're done.